when the older generation asks you to help, do you get irritated? Be truthful. <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> Just swipe la, hi, I'm Das, and today we have guests in the studio and they do not need any introduction because they are so famous and they're almost like legends in Singapore. So I'll get them to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Rahima Rahim. I'm a singer. Lagi? Actress. Actress. Grandmother. A grandmother, a mother. I'm Alia. I'm currently a student and I'm her granddaughter. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm Ahmad Ali Khan. I've been a stage and TV actor since 1990. And I'm also a writer. Published four books. My grandchild, she was born about five months ago. Because now, your generation, our generation. My generation. Our generation. <laughs> we have all these like different social media platforms. Have you ever taught your grandmother something about TikTok or did a TikTok together with her? No, I've never. And I don't really see her often. But I think Instagram and Facebook itself, she's more advanced than I am. Of course. She's Miss Rahima Rahima, exactly. what are you talking about? I, I will fulfill your dream today by trying to make sure that both of you do a TikTok together. <laughs> but since your granddaughter is too young, I will stand in as your grandson, a bit oversized. But let's do it together. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah! Let's go! When I flash the word, you must sing any song with that word in it. If you try to sing wrongly, your grandmother can whack you, but you, I don't know how. Okay, three, two, one, go! Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile. I don't even know if that song really exists. Okay, next one. Love is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. <laughs> <laughs> this is home, truly. I want to see first. Ah. Oh no. Okay, it's not many. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. So here's my number. Anyway, I don't know what song you're singing. <laughs> Every time, nine o'clock, it's new time. <laughs> I cannot do that. There's no more I can do for her. <laughs> hug. Okay, I guess you got a hug. Can you read it now? Yeah, hug. 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 Hug together. <laughs> hey, I can see that you're very ready, so this is what we are going to do. Okay, this way. She uh. on. Okay. Turn. I'm a major look. Well, we ended all at the wrong side. I like that. <laughs> uh, the stun's okay, huh? Uh, yeah, I think. I think we are doing two different choreographies. Yeah, can lah. Right? Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. It was very good. Yeah. What was the most memorable experience you all had together? Personally, meeting her is already memorable. Because like I said, I don't meet her very often. So I can always like remember when she comes to my house, even for a simple meal. It means something to me. So sir, I'm sure, I mean, it's only been five months. Uh, other than seeing your granddaughter being born, what other memorable experiences do you have? Because I don't know, she still can't talk, right? Yeah, so, still can't uh, talk, yeah. So we have like WhatsApp, uh, video call. Uh, well, your, daughter, your granddaughter can video call and all that. My mom. <laughs> no, no, my, my, my <laughs> But somehow it's like when she, you know, hears my voice, right? She recognizes me. Is there any advice you would like to give to other grandparents out there? How to connect with your grandchildren? I think we should include them in our daily lives more because they rely on meeting each other more often. You know, now we are so with technology. We think that, oh, FaceTiming our grandparents is enough. I think asking even for their opinion on certain mm. things can really be helpful. It's sad, no, sometimes uh, you see different generations, especially the younger kids. I'm not attacking or anything, but always on the phone, you know what I mean? There is no what you call human touch. I will lecture my grandchildren. Even when Matno was around, he said, if you don't listen, I will ask your grandmother to take you home and stay there for two months. Yeah. Don't want, don't want. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, in every family, there will be conflicts. What advice do you all have on how to resolve conflict within the family? Where my father, right, he was very strict. I have never seen him argue with my mother. So he says that if you, have, you want to quarrel, you quarrel, but do it within you know, yourself or within the room. Don't show it to your children because they will be affected mentally. So that is one good advice he has given us and I follow. <laughs> Resolving conflicts is more of 
understanding how the situation mm. is. If it's a really big issue, then I will do what I can as the eldest doctor to try and stop whatever I can stop. That is very nice to see because like it doesn't mean like only the elders should resolve conflict. If a few siblings have an argument, if you're the older one, you can try to go and step in instead of waiting for your parents or for you to escalate to your grandmother, which none of us want, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. Now with technology, right, there's many ways to connect. But I think also just now you said like the human touch is cannot be replaced by anything. Cannot, cannot, yeah. But would you also agree that the technology does help when you are not available to connect with the person. Technology, you use it, I mean, in a good manner, it's fine. Mm -mm -mm. As long as you don't abuse whatever is there. Uh, but I have one question for both of you all. This is for my personal experience. Mm -hmm. la. Why is it uh, that the grandparents always like to send like good morning message? And then it's a picture. And then every day, you all got a different picture for the good morning message. And do you expect us to reply? It's just, I want to know i first. never done that. Okay, that's great. Yeah, no. No. Okay, uh... <laughs> <laughs> when somebody sends you a message, right? And if you reply, then they know you are alive. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't reply for two or three days, then they know something else. Oh, I will reply in two days or three days. <laughs> That's the habit, then okay, like, you know, they will know it. Because I come to like 30 WhatsApp, like, oh, she's popular, so you gotta she's understand. Popular, like, yeah. My mum likes to send me like YouTube videos or funny things that she watched and all that. Uh, the moment I see the YouTube video, I won't reply. And one day I came home, she said that you have not been watching any of my videos that I'm sending you and that makes me very upset. I realised that, ah, as a son, I think she wants to share certain funny moments in her day with me and I didn't respond and I did feel very bad about that. So now I have to watch all the YouTube videos she sent me. La. <laughs> if she finds it funny and I don't find it funny, that's another problem. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll say, all is very funny. <laughs> I want to know as grandparents how good you all are with technology. Okay, the first tier is text messaging, video call, that one you all know, right? The second tier is government services, lifestyle apps. Like, you know how to log in to your SingPass, lifestyle apps, like if you want to order food, do you all know how to do that? Of course, huh? Hey, not everybody. She's popular. She, yeah, she's popular. <laughs> she's tech savvy. You yeah. Know? Then the third one is, like maybe if you have to pay a bill online. Do you all know how to do all these things? No, there comes a point when you know, you have no choice. You have to get into it. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, you are left behind. Then when you ask your daughter, your granddaughter, do you still feel the togetherness or you all here shouting? You go and do yourself, la. go and learn yourself, la. ask your friend. As la. I said, no one dares to... <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I think you forgot. No, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. I said, uh, like, Emeline, when's your off day? Because I don't know how to start with the Zoom, right? Okay, uh, can you teach me how to do Zoom? After she taught me, then I just do on my own. Oh, okay. Only when you're lazy, Emeline, can you help me to pay the bill? She just go to the phone. Lazy to go to the computer or you just want her to pay the bill so you know you can no, pay? No, no. Oh, you just pay now to her. Mm. It's so simple now. It's technology, what? Simple. Yeah. Okay, pay it already. She's so, oh, we're done. You know, that was, I'm in my room and she's in her room. Yeah. So it's like texting each other. Oh. Okay, done. Just only they say they want like human touch, family touch and all that, but then same house still messaging. This is one then, thing bad about that. No, 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 no. Like but, that. but, but. Makan is together. Oh, makan, makan is together. Makan together. When the older generation asks you to help, do you get irritated? Me too. <laughs> Be honest! <laughs> okay, once in a while, if you ask me how to operate technology, I think I'll be fine with it. But if it's constantly, it's constantly. I think I'll be very irritated. Okay, but yeah. do you show your irritedness? No, no, be no, 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 I don't, I don't. I mean, I, I try but, to be as patient as possible. I understand because my mother, one day she was talking to a friend. Oh, can you teach me how to log into my email? Then she said, oh, I don't want to ask my son because when I ask my son, right, even the next blog also will know how to use because he teach very loudly. <laughs> That is something I need to work on as well. But I think we also, as the younger generation, we need to excite some patients. One day, our grandchildren will laugh at us and shout at us or be irritated at us and karma will yes, come back to yes. us. But sometimes my mother also reminds me that, you know, she's getting a bit slower at learning things and sometimes it hits me, you know. Hey, actually, her mother is not getting any younger. So we actually did entertain the conversation about a lasting power of attorney. An LPA is a legal document that allows a person to appoint one or more persons age 21 and above to make decisions on his or her behalf if he or she does not have the mental capacity to do so anymore. Since you and I are from the same generation, do you think these kind of conversations are important? As a 17-year-old now, I don't think it is important yet. But I think 
in two, three years' time is going to be very important. Yeah. For example, if your grandmother or your mother appoints you as a lasting power of attorney at the age of 21 or 22, do you think it's a very big burden to carry? Then I wouldn't say it's a burden, but I think I'll feel more pressure. My neighbour, she stays alone. We will take care of her because it's the bonding of neighbour, friends. The sense of community. Yes. Yeah. At the end of the day, you don't have to think it's like a family member or relative. There's no restriction. La. It Someone can be anyone. Trust. Another notion is that you don't have to be old to apply for a lasting power of attorney. Anyone aged 21 years old or above can make an LPA. If you want to do it soon, that would be great because the registration fees will be waived off until 31st March 2023. You can do it online via the Office of Public Guardian online and OPGO can also be accessed via My Legacy. Before we close, I think maybe you can share with us your greatest wish for your grandmother. My greatest wish is... Tell her lah, you tell okay, me for My what? greatest wish is for us to get closer throughout the years and meet up physically more. Apart from that, I also wish her the best in her entertainment industry. She's still out there. And I'm like, that's my grandmother, guys. Thank you. I will give you my home key. <laughs> <laughs> also, I know your granddaughter is very young. Maybe she cannot communicate her best wishes to you. But uh, since like I am your standing grandchild here, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was thinking. I know a lot of times we overlook one very important thing. Like I would like, always like to wish people good health. Yeah, okay. that is right. very very right. important. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I think you just wish me, but don't make it look like I asked you to wish something for me. Like, cut the part out. Okay. Wow, you're uh, ready. Yeah, of course, of course. Like what I said. Oh. Uh, uh, I mean, I wish not only to you or my grandchildren, to all, you know. Health is very important. So, money is not everything. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Without health, you can yeah, forget about wealth. Wealth is a yeah. reward. Yeah, okay. wealth is a reward. Yes. So, thank you very much for watching. I think we had a very, very great conversation here. And I hope to see you all soon. A Singapore Made for Families 2025 is a national plan for how the government, businesses, individuals and community partners come together to create a family-friendly society. For more information, check out the link below. If you like our show, please like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell and, and miss out no more.